it's your girl Didi and we outside. <laughs> Kigel Didi is outside for Recap Run Down. Yes, indeed. Now, Recap Run Down is basically me curing your tabanka. You understand? Yes, Ole, I have an adult tabanka. I have an adult tabanka. Why? Because that July August holiday is done too quick. You understand? Like they just take away all my vibes from me and all kind of thing. Jesso, Jesso. Now, boy, time moving too fast, right? But I look cure when I did to bank, I could happen. You know why? Because we're able to reminisce. You understand? And that's what we're doing with a recap rundown. Now, Tebek was all about culture. You understand? So, we're getting into that cultural aspect of things. We're getting into heritage, right? Now, I'm about to take you to Charlotteville, bring you back down to Mariah. And then I'm bringing you to Plymouth. And as you can see, Gil Didi is touching Tobago in Fort James right here in Plymouth. Yes, I always want to come back home, you know, because home is where the heart is. You understand? So we finna get into this recap rundown. <laughs> Heritage vibes. Tabanka and all. Let we go. <laughs> Oh, girl, I go sell house and land and live inside of you, eh, hey, oh She say, oh, they want, if they can ballet, they want That style ain't a regular The father just who bless you with a hobo juice, eh, hey, oh We outside now Charleville's Natural Treasures Day allows us to, to take a look into the way we live. And when we look into the way we live, you will actually see that our ancestors were very handy, very creative, very intelligent, uh, very scientific about the way they live and the things that they did and how that helped them through very difficult times. <laughs> When you go through the trek, you get a, an ability to understand our resilience as a people and the fact that we have an ability to take very little and to make a whole lot out of it. You know, enduring the two years of lockdown, uh, we are happy to be outside. And in fact, as you go through the trek, you will see that we have or had what the world is now pointing us to, living greener, living much more sustainably. And that's why Natural Treasures Day is one of those features that is near and dear to our heritage production overall. First time I'm here, so I the first half in the vibes. First time, yes, I'm enjoying it. Look how many people's out here today. This attests that persons really wanted this event, and it really was a good event. I haven't been home in about two years, and after that long hiatus, the vibe's been nice. Like the culture still preserved, and everybody having a good time. Charleville, it's a different place. 
Once you enter Charleville, it's like you're on a different island. You know, everybody out with their kids and just enjoying the vibes. And I like that. Listen, I have been to Charlottesville for all the heritage. And it was a real tabanco for 2020 and 2021. So this year, I am outside large, in charge, involved, everything. I'm happy to be outside. In this other estate, these two persons here present come now to be joined together. Therefore, if anyone can show just cause why they may not be joined, let him know, declare it. Hold on, the woman with the cookie picnic come in. Hold on. <laughs> that one that's how the red frack is so deceitful. She know it now, but she nasty. And then later you go come up on maze. I require and charge you both. If either of you know of any impediment why you may not be joined in matrimony, you do now declare. Vincent Smith, will thou have this woman to be thy wedding wife? Will thou love her, honor her in sickness and in health? So long as ye both shall live, I will. I'll fall down. Oh God. Mm -hmm. He dead now. Athena George, will thou have this man to be thy wedding husband? Will thou love him, honor him, keep him in sickness and health, so long as ye both shall live? I do. Ah! Jesus, oh, oh boy, oh, mm. oh God, Mariah, God, King, and people tore there today. Mm. If that ring that job, all fall down, he broke up now. No panda finger, the boy, the next one. I sweat, she I sweat there. Oi, 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 breast, I send milk. I sweat, oh, the place hot. Oh, uh, me think been a milk because I'm not see bread, fruit, and milk yet, you know, so make yeah. sure. Must milk me. Hey, look here. Next time I go invite me, I'm mean, going to tell all them things. Very nice. There. Ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the newest couple of Tobago, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Ladies and gentlemen, mm -hmm. them, Pompenem, friends, Fumble, mm -hmm. Bride, Goo. As you all know, Compesson and Makme Data come before passing to the younger married. Mm -hmm. So because of this, my cranium mm. is quantum. So physically filled. Mm. So I can expatiate my mental faculties on this jollificatious mm -hmm. and momentous mm. occasion. Yes, 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 that's why.
first year this is the 2017 headpiece so i came out this year i like the fact that you still have it saved but are you enjoying yourself yeah i just arrived so this is playing juve yes. your first time playing with ari yes. and it's lit and it's yeah. lit <laughs> we outside right. thank you so much happy juve. oh thank you happy juve people we outside we outside with tech job and as i told you before it's beer vibes i'm standing here with one of the committee members travis how you feeling this morning Great, great, great. Right. As a villager of Plymouth, how do you feel with Juve back on? It's 2022, COVID done. How are you feeling, Mona? After two years, everybody happy. We happy to be outside. That is what we're talking about. We outside. One time, two time. Push back on it. Right up on your bumper. Push back on it. up on your bumper. Press back on it front and center. This is the take, this is the take. Yeah. Tell me what was preparation like? You know, getting them ready to be back on the road. Maxwell and Kush. Uh -huh. Give them all the pips. All right, nice, nice. I'll go check them out. Thanks so much, Auntie Gemma. Kurt, I see you. Make up yourself all the way outside. Tunnel, after two years, how do you feel about Juve? Oh, Plymouth God. Juve? It's just to let loose. Yeah, man, nice. All right. After two years, you jump back out to the Plymouth Juve. Where's the vibe that you're feeling so far? Well, right now, the place is crazy. As you can see, as I was coming in, the amount of people, you know, people so excited to be outside again, you know, it's a pleasure. We already know you shell it down every time. Make up your style. Yeah, man, bless up. Love in the house. We outside. And we are back. And you enjoyed that recap now, didn't you? Yes, Oli it was a whole vibe. Now, I can't be in my village and not come over to the mystery tombstone. You understand? But don't hold me to it, right? Whatever interpretation you come up with, you come up with it. I'm not trying to unscribble, unscrabble, nothing. You come down to Plymouth. You come and visit the mystery tombstone, and whatever you come up with, you go with it because I'm not going to fight you on it, right? This tralala is a little too much tralala for me, but somewhere, somehow, all you ought to figure it out, right? Now, we are in the best part of the recap rundown. 
Yes, Olya, this is the foodie part. This is my part, is what I love. Olya, my favorite harvest for this July, August holidays. The whim harvest. Olya, vibes. Olya, watch now, the taste. The bone apple. Tip, listen to me. Everything was real good up in the whim. I talking about I love that genuine family love that hey you want something all you come in come in that kind of vibes so let me go and check it out now while I try to <laughs> check this out because I don't know what going on here all yeah <laughs> within these walls my goodness you've done so much for me I cannot tell it all. Michigan Diddy and we are outside here in Wim at St. Michael's Anglican Church and I am here with I am the Reverend Father Wendell Bernard, the priest in charge of the parish of St. Andrew Scarborough Tobago, which comprises St. Andrew Scarborough, St. Michael and Old Angels Wim. St. Peter's Adelphi Mason Hall and St. George Hope Village. Right. Pastor Bernard, Father Bernard, my correction. So thank you so much for having us here today, first off. It is Mother's Day. I wish all the mothers a very happy and blessed Mother's Day. And, and may God continue to bless you richly as you nurture sons and daughters of our, of our community and society. Amen, amen to that. So today was your harvest celebration. Tell us about harvest, what it is, why we celebrate it. Harvest is, is giving God thanks. Um, and we can find references in the book of Deuteronomy. As they entered the land, it was a good land filled with many opportunities, resources, and they remind you to ever forget God in terms of what they have received. And the church over the years have always had Harvest Thanksgiving as a part of its life and celebration because we recognize that everything that we own, everything that we have, whether it is natural resources, minerals, agricultural produce, art, craft, as the offertory possession demonstrated that we give God thanks for these various gifts which we have given. And as the hymn says, all good things come from God. And to him we give our, our praise and our honor and our, our thanksgiving. And amen, amen. So I was just outside and I'm seeing there's a table filled with a lot, a lot of goods. Why are these goods outside? The, these are part of, of the people's offering of thanksgiving. Traditionally, eh? Um, you would have seen on the table agricultural produce. But we have moved from a purely agricultural society to maybe a, a light manufacturing and, and other things. So the people will bring these as part of their offering to God and our appreciation for what God has done for us. We have a number of, of products and produce and, and one of the main things of the harvest is the harvest lunch. Right. And, and then in Tobago, I mean, it's a different culture from Trinidad where we go from house to house in the community and, and we share something of, of what each house will offer to us. And that has been so for generations. Well, thank you so much for having us. I definitely enjoyed today. The sermon was amazing. The festivities that was added was even more amazing. And I appreciate you for having us. So thank you again. You're most welcome and glad to have you here to enjoy this day with us. And we pray that God will bless you and your team and that you will have a safe journey back to your base camp. Thanks so much again, Father. All the best to you. And guys, happy Mother's Day. Happy this is it. We outside. Yes. <laughs> All right, we're back again, and we do have our guest father from Trinidad. Would you like to tell us who you are and what parish do you represent? All right, my name is Aaron Charles from um, well, the Diocese of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, I'm parish priest in um, St. Christopher's Church in Separia. All right, so you're over here in Tobago for the Harvest Celebration. I know in Trinidad, the Harvest Celebrations is not like Tobago, but how have you been enjoying it so far? Well, I guess um, Tobago's Harvest Festival is a kind of mix of culture mm -hmm. and, well, church's tradition and Tobago tradition. So I think that would make um, 
um, Tobago's harvest unique in comparison to Trinidad. So it maintains a kind of Tobago fever with the, with the, with the spooked band or whatever, how they call it, the Jaguar Mr. Fiddle or whatever it is. Yes, so it's a so, speech band, let's call it, right? So I think that was very, very interesting. make it kind of unique in comparison to Trinidad um, Avis. I like that. Um, I was listening to the sermon and I heard you singing a bit, yeah? Yes, yes. I try, I try a little thing. So, no. What song was that? That was um, Glenn Washington. Uh, do you mean that, that song? Right, well, Glenn Washington, um, Give God the Glory. Would you mind Would you mind giving us a little bit of that? No, no. Uh, sing it now? Yeah. I, I don't really have it. was uh, Rise and Shine and Give God the Glory. His mercy is enduring for me, right? So, so that, that, that was along the theme that he was given for the harvest today. Yes. yes. Thank you so much, Father, for your time. You definitely had a great sermon. We are outside. Right. This is Wim. This is Harvest. So I'm standing here with the famous, the one and only. Rolston Bradford, better known as Bad News. <laughs> Bad news, you look like good news today. <laughs> yeah, man, it's good news because I decided to give back. Thank God for that. Yeah, yeah. So today is harvest. What does harvest mean to you? Well, harvest means a lot to me. Now. I, just love, I just love to share because um, this is come like giving thanks, you know, for life. Whatsoever God give me throughout the whole year, I just... Mm -hmm choose or I love to give back something because not often people get the chance to really do something when they're alive right. so it is a blessing to me to really give back to the community mm -hmm. and to friends and family whosoever choose to come and have some food and something to drink because you know sometimes with the straw we have so much food sometimes True story. and some people don't Unlucky. have yeah this some people it. don't have so sometimes I, I consider it a blessing for me Correct. and for my family to really yeah. give back because you know you have some people which come to the harvest just to get something to eat. And I always say the more you give is the yeah. more you would receive. The more you will receive and, and I think that is what causing us to receive so much because we love to give. Amen to that. Bad news, I had to change that name from bad news to good news, you know? <laughs> I have to change that name from bad news to good news. The, the name is just a name, you know? It's just an ill name. It doesn't mm -hmm. really mean that a bad name. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> You know, but you know, still. So you have a sweet hand? <laughs> I like people to see that, not me. <laughs> so I taste testing today? Yeah, you taste testing today. <laughs> this is vibes. <laughs> but I know... You for Backhill, the man yeah. with the vibes, yeah. the man that brings yeah. people together. And yeah. I'm so happy that you're able to take this time, yeah, yeah, chat with God. us. And Thank guess God. what? We outside. We about to dive into Mr. Braffitt's spot. Bad news, good news, all is love. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thanks again. Yeah. We outside. Yes, we here with Mama. <laughs> you understand? And as Bad News said, at all costs, everything that he does, he does in respect and protection of mama. Only we outside with mama. Only look how mama looking good. This is 80 something, don't, don't ask the number. But mama hot, she out. Listen, mama outside like clothes on line. She outside, proper, proper. Mama, I, I really aspire to make it as far as you have because things in this world are ch it's changing. And mama, mama, let me spin you a little bit for them. Let me spin you a little bit. Oh, cool, mama, let me, let me spin you a little bit for them. 
What is this? Strong, loving, mama, just thank you for welcoming, welcoming us into your home. Thank you so much. You understand? You, you raised some amazing children, grandchildren, the great grand. Eh. Mama, you're here. Mama, you're outside. You're outside. <laughs> Mama inside, but she outside. <laughs> I, I, I hear it, Mama outside, wet, wet, wet. Listen, this house is love. This house is love. It's your girl, Diddy, and we outside here in Wim, and today I am here with... Mr. Mango, the original. <laughs> Mr. Mango, how sweet is your mango? You're gonna like to know. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. So we're here. And today is harvest. What does harvest mean to you? For me, harvest is a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's a thing I just really, I really appreciate harvest. I love harvest. I just go all out for harvest. Harvest is about camaraderie, bringing people together. Yes. Socializing, interacting. It's about giving, it's a thanksgiving. Correct. It's a beautiful thanksgiving. Definitely. A lot of people might shun from it, but it is very beautiful. And I love it very, very, very much. So, I got my plates already, but tell us a little bit of things that you prepared today. I can't tell you all the things I'm no, 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 just tell me the things that, that we could know about now, boy. No, well, harvest is about all the meat that you really feel, for, feel to prepare. You know? mm -hmm. Some people prepare water tattoo, some people go on a good tea, cow head, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, chicken, the basic pork, whatever, bust up shot, right? This is basically the, the menu for harvest. Right. Right? But harvest, even if you prepare all these things and you don't have people coming down your step. Mm hmm and, and loving your food. Exactly. You don't have people that come and appreciate your food. No, because I really appreciate your food, eh? Yeah, and I let me no yeah, no no, not only that. You know mm -hmm. what I appreciate? The way your hand heavy now, boy. You was you're real heavy on the serving. I heavy all over. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't mad at that. What? Listen, we outside, we outside. According to my friend here, we outside like the white lines on the road. Yes? But opposed to that, mm. I see your family, your friends, they're here. You know, how do you feel about putting these smiles on these people's faces? Like, what joy does that bring to you? Some of us might not be wearing a mask now, but we still respect the protocol. Definitely. Right? Uh, Mr. Nitaiza, we have everything there. I might not be wearing my mask right now, but I'm telling you, we need to respect this situation. Mm -hmm. that it is real. Definitely. It is real, right? But we need fundamental. Correct. Interaction. Mm -hmm. uh, we, trust me. You see how you man they biting up that crab? How that crab taste, small man? <laughs> <laughs> tell, tell me how this how, how the crab taste, small man. Delicious. They will be talking about that mean mango. Have a sweet hand. Definitely. The new mango is, the, is sweet. You ever miss a mango? <laughs> Before I go, what kind of mango are you? What kind of mango you like? I like Julie. I could be a Julie for you anytime. <laughs> That's said the girl did it. And as I said before, we outside. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? You want to know where we at? We are outside! We outside. <laughs>